My name is Deborah R. Richardson of Deborah R. Richardson LLC, and I work with you to help you clean up your vendor data, clean up your vendor processes so that you can pay the right vendor. Now, this week's Vendor Master File Tip of the Week is a critical vendor process effect of the Russian invasion on Ukraine. So let's get started. So first, for those of you that are not familiar with OFAC, it is the Office of Foreign Assets and Control, and it maintains a sanctions or sanctions list uh, that contains names of individuals, businesses, banks uh, that have been blocked from doing business in the U.S. Now, the U.S. government prohibits citizens, U.S.-based entities, and U.S. branches of foreign companies from doing business with uh, parties or with vendors or the vendors' banks that exist on these lists. Now, compliance with OFAC regulations is required, and failure to comply can result in both civil and criminal penalties that can exceed several million dollars. Now, lastly, the U.S. Department of Treasury maintains these OFAC sanctions lists. So what does that have to do with the Russian invasion on Ukraine? Well, according to the U.S. Department of Treasury, uh, press release that they issued uh, March 11, 2022, and this is directly from their site, and I'll put a link to this uh, press release in the description. But according to the press release, and I quote, today the U.S. Department of Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets and Control, or OFAC, issued a new round of sanctions targeting Russian and Kremlin elites, oligarchs, and Russian political and national security leaders who have supported Russian President Vladimir Putin's, Putin's uh, brutal and illegal evasion of Ukraine. So what does that mean for the vendor team? First, it means that the U.S. sanctions list have increased. So you know those vendors that you onboarded and when you onboarded them, hopefully you check them against the OFAC sanctions list, you need to recheck them again. That's what it means to you. You need to revalidate your existing vendors. Now, hopefully you are already doing this on a consistent basis, but if you are not, now is the time to start. And I will put a link to a I believe it was another Vendor Master File Tip of the Week where I talked about three ways to verify and be in compliance with OFAC regulations as far as verifying your vendors are not on any of their sanctions lists. And so if you um, stay on to the end of the video, it'll pop right up. So I'll give you three options for doing that. But that is the big thing is you need to go back and you need to revalidate your existing vendors to make sure they have not been added to one of the OFAC watch lists or sanctions lists since you originally onboarded them or checked them last. All right, so if you would like more information on how to improve your vendor process, please go to my website at DeborahRRichardson.com for free tools and resources to avoid fraud, regulatory fines, and just overall bad vendor data. So good luck and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified next Tuesday for the next Vendor Master File Tip of the Week.